Well, we've joked about it, but we know where to stay now, hotels and things like that. Um, you know, for us, there, there was some familiarity with some teams, right? We played some Valley teams on our non-conference schedule prior to ending the Valley. And, uh, but there were a lot of teams we hadn't played in a really, really long time. And, and so just getting familiar with those teams, um, you know, getting familiar with travel. Um, but the other thing is, you know, getting familiar with just the way the conference wins. And, you know, for us, we kind of built our team with a lot of point of attack guys, strong rebounders, and we want to continue to add that. But the Valley, you've really got to knock down outside shots. And, and that was something that we didn't uh, do at a very high rate last year. And so we've added some shooting, um, added some guys that can, can knock it down from the perimeter. And so we're, we're excited about that. Yeah, it, it was quite different. Um, and we anticipated there being a difference. Um, obviously, we had some stuff happen mid-season. There was a you know young man on our team that we were counting on for about 15 to 17 points a game that wasn't there for conference season. So we had to make some in-season adjustments and things like that. But uh, for the most part, I mean, it was a learning experience. Um, you know, we finished in last, which we don't want to continue to do. Um, but we were also a game away from finishing in seventh. Um, so there's a lot of parity in our league. And um, uh, you got to show up every night. Yeah, so I mean, we lost two seniors, right? But we had nine freshmen and sophomores, and, and all those guys got older. So we're the youngest team by far in the Valley, one of the youngest teams in the country. Um, and so we're, we're excited. Uh, we have one senior on this year's roster, seven juniors. Um, and so, you know, we're finally getting to that old point uh, where you really need to be in college basketball. And, and, you know, we're really excited about the year. Now, we, we've added some good pieces. So uh, we added Dion Lavender, who uh, has some Valley experience playing for Southern Illinois' freshman year. Um, and, and we really wanted to add a senior, right, just because we didn't have any others. So uh, Dion comes as an experienced guard, you know, big, strong body, high assists, low turnovers. He's going to definitely have a role. Uh, last year we had a high major transfer, uh, Ryan Fazika sitting out. So he started at, at Providence as a freshman, played alongside Chris Dunn. Um, obviously, he's you know, starting for the Bulls now, and, and he hits out, outside shots at a pretty high rate. Um, and then we added two freshmen, Javon Freeman, um, who we like a lot. Um, he was the runner-up Mr. Basketball in Illinois. Um, and then Daniel Sackey, who was a, a guard out of Canada um, that was a national team guard for him. Yes. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> he hits him at a high rate. So, um, you know, he's one of those guys, if you leave him open, it's going in. You know, for us, we, we challenged our guys. You know, the offseason, it's, it's a big time to, to improve individually. And I think our team's done that. Um, and we've worked really hard on, on just you know, having one heartbeat, a collective heartbeat, and um, buying into one another. And, and our guys have done that as well. You know, so for us, it's, it's easy to say, oh, we want to win the conference, we want to do this. We just want to continue to get better every single day. And so if we do that, the rest is going to take care of itself. And, and I've been really proud of our young men.